Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. I've done a little more planting today. A little weeding here right now. Out of the, uh, what are these again? The Dwarf Mayor Lemon. Get a few of these little weeds out of here. What I'm pretty sure is not a Dwarf Mayor Lemon. I wouldn't expect these to be coming up for another couple weeks, so I'm not too afraid of pulling out the wrong sprout. I weeded those up there, the uh, orange, the oranges, I weeded those two or three days ago, and as you can see, already needs to be done again. I did a little bit more planting today. I'm getting ready to head in. I was going to plant one more little set, but the mosquitoes are out and they're eating me up. And I'm not going to go get any spray. Planted some more Fuji apple. These right here. So we've got the dwarf apple there, Fuji apple, and Fuji apple here. Take both of those. No, I, I take it back. All right, here's the way it is. These two little sections here are the Fuji apple. Those are the Fuji apples there. And then over here, this little section is a dwarf apple. And I don't know what kind of dwarf apples they are, that's all it said on the package is dwarf apple. So I planted, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 27 of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 28, 29, 29 of the, 29 more of the Fuji apple. And then I planted these mixed grapes. Now that's all it says on the package is mixed grapes, so I have no idea what kind of grapes they are other than mixed grapes. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're a Thompson or a red grape, I don't know if they're a green grape, I don't know if they're a rose or a burgundy or just what, I don't know if they're a wine grape or a table grape. That's all it said on the label was the mixed grapes. So. Marvin did tell me that these large seeds that look like a small peach seed are indeed small peach seeds. They're dwarf peaches. So we'll see how those come up. I, I'm excited to see how these do. I, I don't have high hopes for the apples, um, but I'm thinking there might be a hormone out there somewhere that could help them along. Uh, I'll look into that and maybe do a little experimentation on my own. The grapes, I'm, I'm pretty sure, will come up. I'm pretty sure the peaches will come up. Uh, whether or not they'll bear, uh, I don't know. The citrus, I would imagine all of them will do well because I've got citrus trees here that are already fruiting. So we've got uh, the orange, oranges up there, uh, the Mayer lemon. These are the assorted mystery citrus here. The high guard blueberry and we've got black cherry here dwarf cherry here these are the peaches uh, two things of Fuji apple up there the dwarf apple there and the assorted grapes over there and I have some uh, pomegranates and some more mystery seeds that I'm going to plant uh, Marvin said he sent Marcel a uh, an email with a description of all the seeds that he sent but I never got that email and I don't know if Marcel still has it I wanted to show you here this is actually one of the lemon trees we planted probably four or five months ago and it has a nice little lemon on it right there 
and he has a really nice one right here. Thorn got me. So I know the citrus will do okay based on my experience uh, because the uh, limoncito or citrus, kind of like what we would call a key lime. Uh, this is another lemon tree. These were both bought at the same time and planted at the same time. But that one down there has fruit and this one does not. So I don't know. I think this... I thought we planted three of these. But the leaves look different on this one. So I'll have to ask Marcel what that is. There's three here in a row. I thought we'd planted three lemons, but that looks mysteriously unlemon like. I'll ask her when she gets back. Or I could just wait like I'm going to have to do on uh, several packets of these seeds and just wait and see what kind of fruit they bear. But I'm pretty excited about planting all these. Hopefully within another week I'll have all those seeds that Marvin had sent me and then we're just waiting for them to come up. It's looking like this whole seedling table is going to be full. I've got another hundred of these ready to go, another hundred of these small little plastic pots like those. And that's a hundred that I just planted today. So I would imagine we could probably fit another two or three hundred on here. And whatever seeds I've got, they're going to get up here and get planted. And time will tell. I'm going to get out here and, and get some better labels put on these. I have labels for them. I bought a magic marker, a special magic marker to use. And Gina came up and took it to label the sow boards that we've got. So I've got to get another one. She repurposed that one for me. Or else I'd already have these labels on here. I never can remember to ask her to bring it back up so I can use it. So I'll just get another one. And this rice, I think this is rice that's coming up in here, is really prolific. Keep your fingers crossed, everybody. You can all watch the experiment. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.